Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a doormat using freezer paper this time. We're going to use freezer paper and an iron. So you're going to need freezer paper, iron, and outdoor paint, and a rug. I found my rug from Target. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how I did it. The first thing you want to do is cut your freezer paper down to size. So I did 12 by 24. And then you want to use the brayer that I got from Cricut, but you can use one from Hobby Lobby, you know, an off-brand, whatever. That really helps smooth it out. I have no wrinkles. So this is what it looks like after you have it all cut out and pull your little pieces out. I use my rotary blade to cut it down to size once on the mat, just push lightly. And then um, very carefully pull it off the mat. So now you're going to set it on top of the mat and you're going to set your little pieces like your E and O and A right down into where they belong in the letter. And then you're going to take your iron and you're going to hold it there for just a few seconds at a time just to get this to hold itself down. And just go right over those little letters that you put in there and it all tacks itself down. Then you're going to take your outdoor paint and take a sponge brush or a stippling brush and just um, daub it down in there. Don't try to paint this like normally painting. Just daub it into the cracks there. And just keep pushing it all in there. And when you get to the pieces where we had to set it down in there, like the E right here, if it seems like it's going to pull up a little bit, take something sharp and um, kind of hold it down. So here in a little bit, you'll see me use my um, Cricut tool to hold um, the A down. And um, it's just kind of here we go with our next word, and we're just going to start just like we did with the other one. And you're going to just lightly tack a piece down so you can kind of make sure you get it all straightened and just keep working slowly. I could have got the A here better, but um, I just kind of rushed through it.
dry and as soon as it was not wet to the touch I ironed this one right on top. It did not pull off any of the other paint. Um, super easy. new technique it was a lot of fun super easy and quick um, and if you liked it and enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one